Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Oh, did you see what I put the time lapse? Uh, instead of the time lapse, I put Hands of God. What do you mean? So like, I put our intro, and I had the Hands of God video with their sound just a little bit lowered, so like you could still hear them with our intro. Oh, really? Sick. So it was like me recording Hands of God. It was dope. So is that your favorite set? No. Did that put the most imprint on you? What no. had the highest impact on your mental? Which set had the highest impact on your? Mental status. Scarab. Scarab, why? Those guys are dope, dude. Why? What was it about them? I never really listened to them. Like, kind of just dabbled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that guy had so much energy. Insane energy. I love how he came out with the Terminator 2 glasses. The... And then he took them off. Oh, I love that. That was sick. Dude, yeah. Uh, they were just fucking so sick. Who else? That was day two. Mm hmm. Day one. I really liked King Nine on day one. That was fire. That was sick. That was stupid mega fire. You're right. You're right. Wait, they were day one? They were. Yeah, they were day one. They were, yes. Yeah, they were stupid mega fire. That was awesome. I still wonder who he was talking about. You said Gorilla Biscuits. Oh, yeah, me too. I don't know. I don't hey, know. King Nine, let us know who you're talking about. That, that was just a theory. <laughs> Email us at daddydesertpod at gmail.com. <laughs> we're, uh, we're not deep enough to know yeah, the for, lore. For those who are not... Who, for those who don't know hardcore or like know who we're talking about, there's a band called King Nine from New York, and they said that they went to a show recently where these old heads like reunited after 30 years of not playing, and then they said, yeah, we don't like the moshing and all this stuff, and I kind of agree with them. It's your scene now. It's it's not... Oh, I 100% agree. Like, they're, they're fucking going show to show, city to city, fucking put it on performances. That's their scene now. It's not the old head scene anymore. So just because it wasn't like this 30 years ago doesn't mean it has to be like this now, you know? And King Nine too. They've been out for over a decade now. So yeah. it's like... And they're still active. So that... Yeah. They're totally right, bro. No doubt about it. I mean, I guess we can do like a... We did a little pre-show pod. Now we can do like a post-show pod. I guess so. A post... A post-trip pod. Post-trip pod. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was... Because on the way back, we had some... Uh, we had some oh yeah some encounters you know what I mean yeah so we had some encounters and that shit was crazy bro super crazy super <laughs> super crazy <laughs> oh man so day one uh, it's going fucking great halfway through the day Big Boy comes on and I told Jose I was gonna get up front for the mic and I, cause I you're big cause you, not only are you a big boy I'm a big but boy you're a big fan bro okay not only are you a big boy. Okay, they're big boy. I'm big boy. Yes, yes, yes. And big fan. And big fan. Yeah. Them big boy, you big boy. I you think big I've fan. seen them three or four times now. Okay. Okay. And bro, every fucking time they put on a fire ass show, it's because they're all everyone knows every fucking lyric to their song. And they're the most likable people. They're the most likable fucking band. Like, dude, how, how could, could you, you not, not like? How them? could you not like that guy? Come on. <laughs> but love tsunami apparently. I. I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you. But um, they come on, and I got through like two songs, and I just got the mic for FNS. I still don't know what it stands for. Yeah. Big boy, email us at daddy.com to let me know what FNS stands for. I still don't know. I tried looking it up. Maybe I should go to Reddit and look it up. That's probably the best place. I just look it up on Google. Anyways, I get the mic. Fire. Doesn't look like I'll suck in your dick. On, on that picture. On stage, on yeah. picture. Uh, I didn't notice it at first. I thought it was just dope as fuck. Um, but yeah. Next thing you know, this guy. I've seen him at Sound of Fury before. I haven't seen him anywhere else, but Sound of Fury, I saw him. He dove on me and like pulled my hair like that when he was like holding on. Yeah, I understand. Just grabbing on anything. Holding on for dear and life. And him pulling me back. I bent weird, leg popped out, and I instantly just hobbled out of the oh, pit. Oh, man. I was like, oh, I'm done. I'm That's done. That's terrible. Yeah, that just terrible. Uh, right before that, someone jumped on me, and then someone jumped on him, and I fell over. And people picked me up, dude. That's fucking awesome. Picked my big boy ass up. It was, it was fire. And in I that same it. time, 
And in that same time, I'm over here running on the stage, trying to do a stage dive, right? Oh, that's when this happened? And um, I step on someone's foot in the process, uh -huh. and wham, roll my ankle. Okay. And, and Hold on. <laughs> okay. I have, a, I have a screenshot. I have the, a picture saved because it, it shows you running across the stage for Big Boy. Uh -huh. And your ankle is like this. Oh, I don't know. I swear honestly. to God. I, I, I swear to God. I don't have a photographic memory. I would not be able to tell you. No, no, it was at that moment. It, it, it looks like it because your ankle is in a very position that shouldn't be on this photo. It's vertical. <laughs> Leg vertical, foot, foot. horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, so wait, so you got hurt there too? Yeah, dude. I thought it was later. No. I'm pretty oh, sure that's, that's when right, I rolled my ankle. You were in the dog ankle. pile. Yeah. See, I knew I wasn't getting part I, of the dog I, pile. I remember that's when I rolled my ankle for sure, dude. I just... Uh, I just remember it was awesome. It was an awesome day. Even still, like, being hurt, I was bitching a lot. Um, but I still enjoyed the band. I really did. Absolutely. I really but did. But I don't know why, for some reason, day one was just so tiring. Oh, yeah. So freaking tiring. And you know what I'm thinking? You it's, watched hard as fuck, boy. I'm thinking it's because... Um, not that. I think it's because of the minor injuries that we had. I think that's like a big old toll on how's, our How's your foot doing, by the way? Oh, my foot's great. Is it hurting still? I mean, there's a little, it's a bit sore, but I can do everything. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm good. Because obviously, you saw it day two. Yeah, that was bad. I went back in the pit. You know? We're going to put a picture right here, brother. I did have some blood on my ankle. Blood right? or the bruising? I'm sorry, not blood. The bruising. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. I, sh I should have said subdermal hematomas. <laughs> yes, the bruising on my ankle. Uh huh. Look shot. But, um,. I was still able to go out there and do them, do my thing, you know, get my groove on. I uh, I was still scared to pit. I'm just scared. Yeah, dude, cause cause popping out her knee is scary, brother. I've been there before like seven times. Cause like I thought I was good for Sound and Fury, popped right out. That one was the worst one though, I think. With oh, the dude. with the subterminal yeah. hematoma, whatever you said. <laughs> with the that's a fucking external fucking baby with growing fucking, out of your knee. Yeah, with the fist coming out of my leg, that was the worst one. Yeah, that and was I a, did that. I did it to myself. That was a three month fetus growing out of your knee I, right there. I did that to myself. Um, I I attacked a, a way bigger man than I did. Hey man, he attacked me first, and then I I hit him in the back, hit me in the back, and then when I went to another another spin, he pushed me. I do remember that day. That was awesome. Cause I remember I got in the pit for the first time like ever. I ever got in the pit besides Zulu when I really fucked up. And uh, I remember John came up to me like, dude, that was sick as fuck. <laughs> His brother, John. It was, uh, that made my day. Because I, I guess it made me feel not so stupid. Because sometimes I feel like, I'm not like stupid as no, dude. dude. Absolutely not. Like, like when we saw Angel Dust, right? Uh -huh. Jurda said, move however it makes you feel. Dude, he still puts on a fucking Ooh, great show. However it makes you feel. Andrew Dust is not... That's it. Andrew Dust is no trapped under ice, baby. But That's he's an still amazing be, band. He still be putting on that goddamn show, baby. That was fire. I was actually really excited to see someone who excited to see Andrew Dust. And I hate that Andrew Dust slander. That what? they don't need another turnstile because they're not the same thing. Jesus Christ. Just give my man some fucking Fortnite. He'll put on an even better show. That's right. They should have had Fortnite playing behind him. Fortnite? Is Fortnite coming back, bro? Okay, so... It, it kind of low key, low key kind of is. Okay, when did Fortnite come out? Fuck. First I was off. still in high school. I was like fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay, and when did it peak? Uh, Tilted yeah. Towers was its peak, right? Well, that was the first year. It it stayed at a peak. It, like it just kept growing for like three years, mm -hmm. and then uh, COVID year happened. So four years, COVID year happened, and guess what got released during COVID year? Not Warzone. Warzone. Was it Warzone? What? No way, so, brother. Yeah, because I just I just seen a documentary on, on Nick Merckx. Huh. I haven't watched it in a while, but the documentary was cool. And it was it just said that. I was like, yeah, Warzone had just came out right when COVID hit. And uh, Nick Merckx is known for being the most one of the most accurate controller players because not many people are very accurate. Mm -hmm. That's what he's known for, even on Fortnite. So that's why he had so much success, success in Warzone during COVID too so his numbers skyrocketed so yeah so Warzone came out and knocked it off and no one really wanted to play Fortnite because now all that's on there is sweat so like me and you go back on it's like I know how to build a little bit and then you got these people that are like Minecraft <laughs> fucking Lego masters yeah <laughs> fucking it's Lego like, oh my god dude, dude uh, I'm, a, I'm a Lego master builder what do they call them 
Master Lego Builders. Uh, there's like know. a real Ninjago's. Yeah, there's like a real like title for like a master builder, like the people that build the samples like at Legoland and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're those type of people. That's all there is now. That's sick. How much do you think they get paid, brother? Oh, the master builders. Yeah. I have no idea. I hope they get paid fucking wonderful amounts. That's that's hard shit, dude. It's hard shit. And you think they just do that kind of like, just they're just riffing it, they're just doing it, like. No, uh, I yeah. Or I'm also sure, like, hey, we're gonna pay you to fucking build uh, a dinosaur today. No, it's gotta be life size. What I'm saying is, are they are they prepping beforehand? Or are they thinking, drawing something out? And planning it out, which oh, yeah. pieces I'm going to use, yeah, all the stuff so. where they just building, like getting pieces going. I think uh, a lot of it's just kind of like muscle memory, you can say, like, oh, this piece does this, you know? Mm-hmm. So they're already used to it, but I feel like they do kind of plan it out in chunks. I would, at least. That's just me. I feel like if they're that Lego creative geniuses. But people like Justice, Justice, they stayed on Fortnite. And then, like, last year, Fortnite came out with zero build Fortnite. Oh, right. I remember that. Everyone fell in love with it again. I remember that, but I didn't play it. I didn't play it either. But people love it. It did get my attention. Because play it. the skill gap for building is, like, insane. Insane. Like, have you ever seen professional tournaments? Oh, dude. Those absolutely. are the worst. They are... I feel like that's the dumbest thing to watch. Why is that? Because everyone's a master fucking Lego builder there. So all they do is everyone sits in like their own it makes like this giant like build a fort. A giant fort, right? Yeah, there you go. A giant fort. But everyone sits in their own little pocket until they hear somebody, they start editing and building again. And they just start build fighting. And it's just like, dude, it's so boring. Dude, that's impressive though. No, it's impressive, but to me it's a little boring. I just want action. Just oh, get yeah, in there. Absolutely. But everything they're listening to is like audio cues. You know what though? It Okay, them, they're like j they're jaded. Right? Jaded? They're jaded. What does that so, mean? So, for example, they've they've played so many video games and they're so good at it now uh-huh. that at that point, they don't even get the excitement of it anymore. <laughs> that, I'm just saying. I'm just pulling this out of my ass. I don't know. But uh-huh. what I'm saying is the excitement that me and you get, we're just kind of like mid-tier probably noobs still. Yeah. We get hella excitement when we do good. All right. And good, yeah. Like, I remember when I hit my first double pump. I was like, oh my god, that was so sick. You ever, you ever double pump? <laughs> Absolutely. Boom. Absolutely. Boom. That was awesome. the best. Awesome. That was the best. Yeah, but, Fortnite was so fun, dude. But that excitement that we get as, like, mid-tier players is so much higher than their <laughs> excitement that they get as, like, super high-tier players. I can see them winning, like, a 100k tournament and getting fucking completely... Or, or, or am I just being an idiot saying that? No. What do you think? Because at some point I'm thinking that these super high tier players, they've also got that fucking like drive. drive exactly. That, I was just about to say like, that crazy drive mentality. Because like face uh not face gump. His name's Scump, right? He plays for Optic. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's known as the best player ever. Mm-hmm. Like he's the best ever. These dudes grind. He's hard. the best FPS ever. That's what they that's what they call him. And dude, he was like on some Tom Brady shit, just like, we gotta win, we gotta do better, we gotta do better. So I'm sure they they get excited to win because uh-huh. they're in high level tournaments and knowing that they're playing the best, it's just like a sport. Yeah, it literally is an e-sport. Yeah, I guess. I guess yeah. not really a sport, but <laughs> dweeb. You grind hard, but <laughs> yeah, it, no. Yeah, but yeah, get 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 justice and fucking some Fortnite up on there. You put an even better show. Put an even better show. That's, That's what we got to that combo. Sure, but they were day two. Hey, Bog was far. Now, they always put on a good show, man. Violence. Always for them. See, it's called Murder Ball. I was going to yell Death Ball. I wanted to yell it so bad. I was like, where's a Death Ball? But it's Murder Ball. So that would sound like a Okay, dream. let me ask you this. If you had all your limbs and joints I would, uh, in perfect condition, would you participate? I would love to participate. Because, so Murder Ball uh, reminds me of what we used to play in elementary school. What was that? Rugby. Oh, okay. So okay. the the new nades, is that what they call them? New nades? Yes, new nades. Whatever teachers, right? Proctors, whatever. Proctors. New nades. In elementary school, they would never go to the soccer field. So they always thought we were playing soccer. But we would always play rugby. And I would have literally like four dudes on my back. And I'd be this is like Dylan Peak fitness level. Wait, this is when? In elementary school. Okay. So, elementary school. <laughs> Dylan So, so this is Dylan Peak, okay. right? Okay. I had just had a huge growth spurt. 
Okay, how t- how big how tall were you? I was like five ten, and I was in fifth grade. Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. damn, dude, so, big boy already. Damn. So, and then oh. I joined football, and I lost a shit ton of weight, and I was athletic, bro. I was like fast as fuck, just like peak fucking deal in uh-huh. fifth grade, <laughs> and um, be like four dudes on me at one time, and then there's always this one guy. We'll believe his name. His name was <laughs> K. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, he would always jump on my back and like, literally like, give me a naked choke. choke. And I'd literally Marble just go like, <laughs> boom! Like, literally throw him hard as I could. You throw him like a sack of freaking peas. Yeah, and like, anyone that like wanted, I'd just run right through them. I would never lose the ball. And then, you know, there, there, there is somebody that I'm still friends with, but in Pioneer, Junior High... He would send them to sack me. There's no tackle in flag football. And this is the Super Bowl. Okay? My team versus his team in the Super Bowl. And he kept sending two guys to come fucking sack me. Were you a A lot of bleeping. I was quarterback. You were a quarterback, huh? I was a quarterback, wide receiver hybrid. Wow. Me and this guy named... Quarterback, wide receiver hybrid. So what you did, what you did, here's what you did. Da-da-da-da, here's what you did. Quarterback, quarterback, I'm quarterback. You get the ball, you get the ball. You, you're looking for your wide receiver. You're like, fuck, I'm the wide receiver hybrid. I got to throw it to my fucking cell. You do that. Because <laughs> that peak dill right yeah. there. <laughs> so, um, And you throw it to yourself. So I would, I was mainly the quarterback, but then sometimes I was like, I want to get on the field, dog. So I tell my boy, because I knew he could throw, and me and him would just fucking just li- launch it to each other. And, um, I mean, like you see me play baseball, bro. I'm pretty fucking physical with it. You know what I'm saying? Softball. Softball, sorry. Softball, brother. I literally got every out for our team, every play. That was sick. That was sick. And, that, dude, I love playing those chill games like that. I was not chill. That's why when they said, hey, dude, you need to calm down, I was like, I'm sorry. Well, it's chill for me. Hey, Ethan, let me try out, bro. Ethan. Hey. Peak Dill is... Is coming. Coming. Hey, so. when I played that softball and I was dominating bitches, I was dominating. I got an inside the park home run with a beer in my pocket, an open beer. I didn't spill it. I, I don't That's, know. I don't know. I didn't see. That was on Thanksgiving. I didn't see that. Two years ago. That It was a windy-ass Thanksgiving, I'll tell you okay. that. So, I think I could play for the Mets. I'm sure... I'm sure I you... can be busboy or fucking ball sucker or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, so... He kept sending me for a sack, and I tell, I, tell, I tell my boy, I was like, hey, dude, just hand me the ball off. I met this motherfucker right in the fucking paint. Boom! Knocked him out. His eyes changed colors. <laughs> Turned boy into a different race. God so, damn. And that was a winning touchdown, too, which is fucking badass. So I said, just hand, hand me the ball, please. He kept sacking me, like literally tackling me. He said, he said his guys. So... I lowered my shoulder, I trucked him, I scored the touchdown, and then I was like, bro, you good? And he was like, oh, oh, oh. And yeah, and his eyes changed colors, I was really worried about him, but we were good. But yeah, I'd love to play fucking murder ball. Really? I'd love it. I would not, personally. No, that's not for me. Because um, I have on video for Sound and Fury, this little ass dude just get fucking ragdolled by people trying to get the ball and they oh couldn't get it. Oh my god, dude, really? That's, uh, he threw two, bro, and that caused four that's hits. Fury. Yeah, yeah, that's dude, right, that's insane. right. That's insane. That was so awesome, though. I was telling Jake, too, uh, it was on day one early, early day one. And it's like I had PTSD. There was a big dude on the edge of the pit, and he got hit by somebody. And he just looked at me and he was like, what the fuck's your problem? Instant flashback to the guy at fucking Sound of Fury for Bog. Same thing. And then everyone's like, bro, you're on the edge of a pit. Like, you're going to get hit. Yeah. But this guy just kind of backed off. But the guy at Sound of Fury was a little bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was being a weenie. Who was your big time weenie? Who's your favorite set? My favorite set. Also, to be fair, uh, Hands of God is way up there for me. Really? Okay. And like I, like I literally tweeted out. I said this was a fucking honor. Okay. But yes, they were, they were so up there. At this point, I can't really remember who was day one and day two anymore, but I want to say for it's a sure. CTE. CT. It's it, it. I do probably have minor CTE. What do you think? You think I have minor CTE? What do you think? Give me, give me a diagnosis here, Doc. I think you have uh, short-term memory loss. Short-term and, memory loss? On a, a very slim. Very slim. Very what slim. does that mean? Like, like, we've already talked about this. Like, 
when you, when you cut your head open, you, for like the next two months, you were forgetting conversations we had like five minutes ago. And me and Jake would always tell you like, dude, we just told you like five minutes ago. And you're like, no, no. Now, but I can never tell if you were fuck with me or not or gaslighting me. Okay, now... Do you think I'm fucking with you or gaslighting you? Not anymore. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. No, I don't do that. Don't do that. Um, I think well, you I think have, you might have a, a minor uh, short-term memory loss. Let me, let me ask you this. <laughs> have we talked about this before on the pod? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third time we talked about it. Oh, wow. We're really somewhere now for sure. Uh-huh. It might be that. But anyways, um, my favorite set of the day, despite me not knowing who was day one or day two anymore, I want to say Sanction for sure. Fire. They were day two. For sure. No, they were day one. They were four. Either day, nine. they are number one. Yeah, they were fire. They were my favorite set. And then I would probably say... Wow. Torture culture? <laughs> huh? That was that car ride, baby. Wasn't that that? Did no. you play in the car? Oh, torture. I played torture. Torture. In the car. There you go. Nothing but torture in the car. <laughs> but no, I would probably say, man, that's CCTE, man. I'm blanking right now. Let's see. You were most excited for Balmora. How how'd they do in your eyes? Oh, that was amazing. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Every set I saw was amazing. Hold my own. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing, I agree. brother. I agree. I agree. That was great. I'm just trying to give you like... <laughs> I'm trying to give you like... See, it's because I can't. Okay, I'll probably say Hands of God too. Hands of God number two. I know. I know. Yeah. It's hard. Sanction number one, Hands of God number two. I would go... Uh, For sure. It was an honor. Absolutely. I dance. just liked... So... Hands of God. I've talked about before like how Drug Church gave me that feeling. I've mm-hmm. still never felt that before. To where like... I was like locked in with the singer. I don't know. It was weird. Whatever, whatever I felt with that man is I've never felt before in my life. It was like my butthole got tickled for the first time. <laughs> so I just uh, I was just like so locked in. And Scare was getting me there because that guy was like intense. I loved it. I loved it. Hands of God is a very close second. Uh, I like Balmora. I'm going to give you a top four here. I like Tarn's Way. I like Tarn's Way too. That was sick. What up? It was it was a great fest overall. Great fest. Great fest. And we, we met some people. That's also cool. Yeah, very cool. Very cool people out in Kentucky. Oh, yeah. uh, Over some, there out in the, uh, what is that, Midwest? Midwest, I would say. Very, out east, very I don't cool know. people out there. Uh, I, I ran into this guy so many times. Like We didn't say anything, but for sure made eye contact. He just followed us uh, today on the pod. Just like this random guy, I would see. But well, me and him kept crossing paths all the time, and we'd make eye contact. Oh, really? Yeah, and I just kept bumping into him, bumping into him, bumping into him. And then he just randomly followed us. Do you yeah. think that happens for a reason? Maybe. Do you think, like, is there, like, a certain somebody that you just kept seeing at the show, like, all the time? Yes. You know? Yes. There's always, like, one or two people that you always see. Always. He was one of them. And then that big guy with the fucking rings, but to be oh, fair. Dude. To be fair, he was all over the place. I got, yeah, he was everywhere, brother. And uh, I give it to him, man. He was having a great time. I loved it. And and he won fucking murder ball. He won murder ball, dude. He was that guy was awesome. To be fair, the spiky rings you had to take the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little sketchy. But I don't know if he was dancing like that though. I don't. I never saw him like swinging or nothing like that. You think he just like, hey, I'm gonna take my rings off before I dive and then just jump back in and put my rings back on? I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, I don't think he was like slam dancing. You know? Oh, you think he was just diving off hurting people? I think I think so. He was I stage so. having a shit ton. He was. He's a, a trooper for that. Shit ton. Cause that's dangerous. Honestly, no one was catching nobody. How much does that man weigh? At least two eighty. Damn, Bro, that's a big he man. Was, uh, he was next to me for a little bit. He's way taller than me. Wow. And he's like, beefy. His fucking arms like twice the size of mine. That's Conan the Barbarian. Yes. <laughs> that's Conan um, the Barbarian. It was so funny though, cause we we were just in line, right? And you were like. Brother, if somebody smells in this type of cold, that's how you know they really smell. <laughs> and then we just got in, and we're waiting in line, and you were on the other side of somebody, and then I was on this side of a guy, and I told you, I was like, remember what you said about the smell? Remember what you said about the smell? And you're like, what? I was like, remember what you said about the smell? About being cold? He's like, yeah. And I was like, bro, fuck. 
Oh my god, take a shower, dog. It's, it's day one. It's day one. You haven't. Why? Why are you sweating on day one? Damn. Okay. To be fair, I mean, I was sweating day one. No, no, no. Day one, minute one, I was sweating, brother. No. I'm no, a sweater. You no, you weren't. You didn't smell like shit. You smell like fucking shit. These motherfuckers are hardcore. So I was gonna take a fucking shower. <laughs> like just like. Hey, there's some musty people at work too, dude. See, so like, I just feel like this is what they think. You know what? I'll be around people all day. I'm gonna be sweaty anyway. So why take a shower now? Why, why, why should I take a shower now? Yeah, that's stupid. That's stupid. It yeah. just feels great. It feels great it feels to, feel, to feel clean, refreshed. Because you know when you don't take a shower for two days and it's oh, like, oh, hell yeah. Because sometimes hell like yeah. you'll get home from work and you fall asleep and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I got to go to work. And then you go to work again. You're like, oh, I'm stinky today. It's like it's like going up to a roof and uh, scooping up that gutter grime. And then you, you eat it. And then you get a little tasty. <laughs> oh, like, fuck it. Sodium levels high. Sodium levels high. Abort. Abort. <laughs> to be fair, though, the fest was fucking awesome. Free Monster, which I wish I knew earlier. That's crazy, dude. Because we both said, that's Who's not doing free. That? Who's, Who's doing, doing that? Who's doing that? Who's doing Free Monster, Shout bro? out. Shout out, Triple so B. So, day two. LDB. LDB, yeah. LDBBB, Triple B. Yeah. Um, shout out. Free shout Monster. Shout out J. Force. Crazy. Shout out J. Force. Shout out everybody there. Yeah. Um, I, I went to get a Monster, and I was like, she just handed it to me, and I was like, "Whoa, this is awesome!" You know that shocked me too. But I, I, I should have went back for another one. I, I, I did not get one. I stayed back. See, so my thought on it was, "Hey, when bands play, I get an adrenaline spike uh -huh. because I'm on high alert to not get hit." You know, so it's like if I take a monster, I'm gonna have like, Ooh, "Fuck, my, I'm gonna have a heart attack." Oh, really? I, you, people could, dude, and. There was, like, this one guy who was, like, camping in a corner. He had, like, four monsters at a point. That's insane. In well, yeah, if they're free, people are going to use oh, and abuse yeah. them. But you know why I didn't have one was because I was thinking, I can't be I can't be spiking my adrenaline levels right now mm -hmm. with caffeine. I'm going to need that for the road. I need to save that. That potency needs to be maximized 100%. 100%. So I, I stayed away from the monsters as much as I could, and I didn't get any. I yeah. needed to save that little boost. I, honestly, I would say that the going to Kentucky was much better than coming home. Really? I would say so. Way it, better. It felt faster. Felt way faster. Felt way faster. Felt way faster. Even though we got home faster day on the, on the way back. Did we? Yeah. Dude, because we left at 7 in the morning, and we got home at like 11, 11.30. You know? That was pretty good. That was fucking awesome. We thugged it out, bro. We thugged it out. We had to. And I remember I told you, yeah, I think I'll make the rest of the way I made like two more hours and I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I don't know. Something about driving that long distance is just kills you. It kills you. And Truck then, drivers, salute. Hey, salute. Salute. Yeah, I did say that a few times. Like, That's these a tough job. I was like, these motherfuckers make this fucking country move right here and the trains. That's a tough job, man. But, I mean... People may think they're sitting all day and everything, but that's a tough-ass job. I remember we said, do you think we've done enough research about it? And you're like, who does that? You know, maybe we could have researched if it was going to snow or not like, at all. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. I agree. Yes, you're right. But, you know. It, it happens. This is an imperfect world. Things happen. Yeah, brother. so, you know, I was telling Jose, I was like, hey, dude, if there's cars inside the road, their hazards on. It's a lot of move over. But then I was reading the sign that says, or slow down. But I'd rather just move over, you know? So there was a cop on the side of the road. And it was like 3 in the morning. And I was driving. And I decided to move over. And uh, it's snowing out there in fucking uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. Was, was like, it snowing? Well, it was snowing. I don't think in, it was snowing. No, it was snowing in New Mexico, remember? When I told you it was snowing? Yeah, there was snow on the ground. No, no, but no, it was actually snowing. Like, very little. I could see it. But it was 3 in the morning, right? And I, I go to switch lanes out of this cop because there's a cop with his lights on. So I go to switch lanes and I hit ice. And we fucking... The fucking back end goes out to my left. And we drive straight to a ditch right next to the cop. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, yo, what the fuck? And the cop's like, you guys all right? And I was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're, we're just trying to move over out of your way. Quote yeah. of the trip. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quote of the trip. Okay. I love we'll, it. We'll get to that. I love it. Yes, sir. I yes, love sir. it. Okay. So I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> and 
you know, uh, Holzer took the wheel after that. I was like, hey, maybe I shouldn't drive. I couldn't catch that. So Holzer got in the car, and the cop was like, okay, just back up. And he guided you out fucking great. Great. And he said, just go to the next exit, and you should be fine. Just check your car. It looks good. And I was like, car looks fucking fine. Car looks fine. Oh, we checked all the tires. I had you roll forward and shit. Um, and we just kept going. We kept trucking. No complaints. No complaints at all. Except for Oklahoma, fucking bitch-ass city. Bitch-ass fucking oh town. Oh, my God. Bitch-ass state. I once liked you, but not anymore. To be fair. Great state. To be way. fair. Great state. On the way into Oklahoma, we did pay for one toll. We did. And then I fell asleep. Yes. And then you said, hey, brother. I skipped the toll. I skipped the toll. <laughs> <laughs> I drove through the thing. So hopefully I get something in the mail. And I was like, okay. We didn't see toll the whole rest of the time. Yes. Where the fuck did all these goddamn tolls come from on the going the opposite way? Exactly. And then we get there and this lady's like, oh, yeah. Oklahoma requires you to carry cash in this state. And I was like, what the fuck? So she was like, okay, here you go. Here's your free pass. <laughs> and we were like, y'all don't got tap? Yeah. Y'all don't yeah, got no tap? Card? What the fuck? <laughs> so. Y'all don't take Apple Pay? <laughs> Fuck. I mean, what you 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 tell the rest of this dumb bitch. This bitch pissed me off. Okay, so this lady misinformed us. So much misinformation out in this world, and she decides to put out even more, right? And this lady was like, "State of Oklahoma requires you to carry cash in your pocket. Pay for any tolls tolls requiring cash, right?" Yeah. So, so we were like, "Okay, well, we don't got any. We don't got any, right?" Gives us a receipt. Oh, here you go. Gives us a receipt in an envelope. Yep. It says this is your with, free pass. With a dollar amount. Yeah, zero. And then so um, she said, here you go. This is your ticket, whatever, da-da-da, with the price amount, whatever. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, oh, we go ahead and mail it in later, whatever. Yeah. Didn't say shit. Nothing. Then we go ahead and go off. Because we don't think there's going to be another toll. We don't need cash. Maybe yeah. that's a little stupid, by the way. Why? Why? Maybe that's a little that, stupid. Okay. It's a little stupid on our part. Yes. To yes. be fair. To be fair, we should have got off. 100%. I did say it. And then I was like, eh, fuck it. Just go. Yeah. Yeah. What are the odds going to be another toll? Yeah. 20 minutes later. <laughs> another toll. Another toll. <laughs> and so they tell us that we can't be doing this shit. Yeah. We cannot have this envelope. Because they're going to give us another one because we don't have any cash. We never stop for any cash. To be fair, this gentleman actually gave us information. He was great. Great toll booth operator. Great gentleman. Whoever he is, Oklahoma, I want to give him a salute. Great toll booth operator. Yep. But um, he gave us perfect directions, told us exactly what to do, where to do it, how to do it. Fuck, man. He, 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 yeah. he literally took us there. Yeah. And know? then the ladies, the next ladies were so nice. Yeah, they were too. They were so nice. But we finally figured that out, and um, I don't think we got cash, so... No, we did. <laughs> no, yeah, we yeah. did. But, uh, you know, luckily we fucking made it out of that shithole state. It's probably a very nice state, to be fair. What was your favorite state uh, to drive through? The ones that you saw, at least. I think we saw all of them, right? Yeah. Um, I like that part where we just left St. Louis... Getting into Illinois, and it was like that back country. It was like that winding road, and there was like these uh, dark and light gray rock walls surrounding oh, us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I like that. And then uh, while you were asleep and we were going through Flagstaff, the snow was piled up pretty high, and I told you it was like white as far as you can see. That was pretty awesome, too. Oh, and I was trying to take a picture of it, yeah, but it wouldn't yeah, would yeah. come out. It was too dark, huh? Yeah. That's right, that's right. And then my camera wanted to get, like, a hold still, but, like, I'm fucking moving, so it's not, it wouldn't take the picture. So, but, yeah, that uh, that was really cool to see. Even, like, going through the snow in the daytime was cool, too, on the first on the first way. That was really nice, too. That was in Arizona, right? Yes, sir. Arizona, man, Arizona. Ooh, how hot of a destination is it? Arizona? Yeah. Uh, particularly that area is probably very hot because Flagstaff's, like, a college town, and then uh, the Grand Canyon's right after it. Like, Flagstaff's the, the only big town, and then it's the Grand Canyon. Because Grand Canyon is what? How, how far like away? Like, three hours away. No, from, from here. Like, maybe 
13 hours. Oh, 13 hours away. God damn. Yeah. It's pretty far. Well, that'd be that'd be pretty cool to go to someday. You should At least totally I know go. I could you do should, a 12 hour go. drive. You should totally go. At least I know I could do a 12 hour drive now. Maybe uh, take a little nap or something. Yeah, like when, my, uh, when me and my dad went, when we first started the podcast, we uh, went to Prescott, slept there, spent the night there, and just kept driving. One day. All to the rest of the way. Yes, sir. The, okay, this is where the yesterday came from. Um, at work recently, I've just been in locked in mode. Like, me and Jose saw this meme where the guy was like locked in. Like, he fucking sat up to play a video game. You know what I'm saying? I've been in fucking locked in yeah. mode at work. And it's always just like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. No talking. Just fucking yes, sir, yes, ma'am. And it's just been rolling through my fucking head. So every time Jose would ask me a question, I'll be like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's just, it's just there. I, I don't know. It's just there. It's just, it's just there. And 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 that's okay. I accept that. You know, I love it. I may mock you a bit, no, but, but it's mocking out of love. Out of love. You know, that's what it is. I think you enjoyed the simplicity of it. What do you mean? I feel like because like sometimes your text is very short. Okay. You know, I feel like, you know, you kind of enjoyed it. No, I did. I did. You're right. I did enjoy it. But you're it's, like, hey, you dude, know, you good? Yes, sir. Hey, dude, you hungry? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but it's easy. It's effective. It's like... It, it gets so gets the job much done. done with two words. Hey, Dylan, you want to go eat Wendy's? Yes, sir. It's so quick. It's easy. You know? The food Maximum there... efficiency. Um, Waffle House... Dank, by was, the way. ...was uh, something I had low expectation for. Because when I think Waffle House, I think fighting... Cheap. Okay. Not necessarily cheap food, just cheap. Okay. And then I was thinking Denny esque. Okay, but think about it. Think about it in a, in a in a in a bigger scope, right? For example, Los Angeles. Okay. Bunch of crime. Yeah. Poverty and yeah. homelessness uh-huh. and a bunch of fucked up stuff. Fentanyl and shit. Yeah. Uh huh. But it still has great food. Yeah. No, what I'm saying, Waffle House is a chain. That's why I was thinking about it like a like a Denny's. Yeah, you know, like Denny's is like, yeah, we'll go to Denny's. It's not like oh, that shit's fucking amazing. And I'm not saying Waffle House was amazing. I thought it was pretty good, for like what nine bucks. Yeah, nine ten dollars. Yeah, and then we both got an extra side, so it came out to fifteen dollars. Mine was fifteen even. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, that was fucking good. And that's why when we got that steak at the other place, or not we when I got the steak, I ordered the grits with it because the grits were so fucking good at Waffle House. So they need a fucking trauma thing or two over there at Cask. Yeah, they need to fucking up their game over there, dude. Y'all need to do some more training. I guess we'll put it in the, in the tier tier list. I would go Cone Huevos 1, Cask 2, Waffle House 3. And that's basically all we ate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, we had we had the pizza too. That was pretty good. The pizza's good. Pizza was good. Uh, shout out Zaxby's, bro, for real. Shout out Zaxby's. That's the... Uh, that's, uh, Midwest slash East Coast uh, uh-huh. Canes. Uh, Canes. Even though Canes is literally everywhere. right across the street. Yeah. <laughs> How far does Canes go? They're everywhere. I think huh? they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Post Malone put the fucking... They put it on the map with fucking Dallas. They got some great chucking for sure. Canes sauce, Canes slaw, Canes toast with the Zaxby's chicken and fries. That's the ultimate. Agreed. Actually, no. I like the Zaxby slaw better. And give me the Zaxby size cup, because that was a ginormous <laughs> fucking cup, and I was loving it. I was loving every ounce of it. All right. Yeah. I uh, I bought thirty six cans of Coke Zero for this trip, thinking that we were gonna demolish that shit. Okay. I was like meat holder can do it. in a week. We're gonna drive for two days in the car easily. Yeah. See, but I don't think I'm not that big of a soda drinker. Yeah. Like throughout my day. You kind of pissed me off though. You're like, oh, you're coming to Coke Zero. You haven't even drank any water today. And I was like, motherfucker. I drank the whole hydro on the first like fucking way there and I had like six water bottles already. That's a fuck ton of water. Yeah, I'm gonna drink Coke Zero, motherfucker. Yeah. Wait, when did I say that? You had like just woken up, right? It was like late at night. It was like two in the morning. You'd woken up and I and I hit you in the head, I think, for a Coke. And you're like, you're drinking a Coke? Like, why don't you drink some water? And I was like, bro, why do you think I've been stopping on the fucking road? Like, every every three hours to piss. Because I, I literally can't hold it. I was drinking so much water. Oh, no. It's because at that point, I was all fucking hazy and woken up. It's because I was thinking, oh, it's like fucking morning. Oh, fuck this no. This dude's already drinking a Coke. <laughs> nah. It was like three or four in the morning, right? Something yeah, like it, that. It was like two in the morning. It was pretty early. 
But yeah, I mean, trip was trip was fun. Driving uh, way back was ass. Way more ass. I it felt way longer. Just felt so much longer, and just like fuck, dude, get me out of here. I would do it again though if necessary. I'd I'd rather just fly. Yeah, it, no, that's why I say if necessary. Yeah. I'd rather just fly as well, but if necessary, man, I'll drive. Yeah. Flying's the way to go. This is my last resort. What else? What else happened? What else happened was um what was that? That was it. Yeah. That's all that happened. What was this? My girl told me today, like, oh Jay, did you get that money back? And I totally forgot about the rental car. Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about it. We didn't. Are we we didn't. We didn't. We did it. This week I work went by super fucking fast, so I'll tell you what. Super fucking fast, so I'll tell you what. Three day weekend, baby. Three day weekend, baby. For God. Oh my For God. God. For, For God. For God. A <laughs> good Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Did anybody at your work even celebrate that? At my work? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think I think actually yes. Uh, one of my coworkers does. I think so. He gets yeah. together with his family and does his thing. Good for that, mom. I'm glad he's. So that's a Catholic thing now. It was like Catholic. Whoa, that was insane. What? I had a crazy shift in my hearing right now. Did you? It's it's CTE. You have CTE. I had a crazy shift in my hearing. Yeah. So. <laughs> the frequency, like, like the ping, the you know. So you know what that ping is, right? Yeah. What is that? See, that's fucking. Uh, no. When you have like that, was it a ring? It's a ringing. <laughs> it's a ringing. It was yeah. like a, a constant tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll never hear that tone again. Remember that guy told us? He said that tone is gone. It's gone? Forever. You'll never hear it again. What do you That's mean? That's what that was. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not understanding so you at all. When you start losing hearing for, you know, going to concerts too loud and shit, you'll get like this ring in your ear, you know, it kind of hurts. But then sometimes you hear like a until it goes away. Yes. So whatever that pitch was in tone, whatever the sound is, decibels, you will never hear that again. <laughs> I'm losing hearing as we speak. <laughs> I am losing hearing as we speak. Yes or no? Yes. Oh my fucking shit. I'm not wearing my PPE, guys. Oh my God. At work, you were not. Where's your place at work? In my ears. No, they weren't. Uh, yeah, no. I got photographic evidence that you were not wearing that shit. I'm calling OSHA. Yeah, you gotta tell Ricky to fucking stop doing that, dude. It's gonna get out one day. <laughs> the hey, holders are not wearing PPE. They're in the cloud. They're in the cloud. So um, so much worse stuff is in the cloud. Yeah. That... Doesn't bother. Go get Diddy. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Speaking of Diddy. Go get some real fucked. fucking troublemakers. What? So so thoughts on the on the Baltimore Bridge? Thoughts. <sighs> That is, first of all... Are you believing in any conspiracies? First of all, that is a terrible loss, man. Terrible loss. I hope everybody over there is okay and making it to work. They're not. And, you know, I hope everybody's doing good out there, man, because that's terrible, Hopefully terrible. work tells you, like, hey, we're, guys, we're giving you guys a little leeway time. Yeah, and I hope, I hope, man, I really hope everybody out there is good. You know, like, what China did during COVID for the hospitals? No, what they do? They built, like, 12 hospitals in two days. Oh, damn. I hope fucking America does some shit like that where they just get thousands of construction workers just to just get it done. You know? Just boom, done. Help help out Baltimore, baby, man. Because they, they was already struggling, man. That's even yeah. worse now. Yeah. You know? Oh, God. Help them boys out. So, uh, are you believing in the conspiracy theories? Thoughts? Okay, so Thoughts? what are the conspiracy... Okay. Do you I only know, know any... Do you, I only know one. What? One was... Again, this is just a conspiracy theory, mm-hmm. okay? That um, it had been hacked and okay. controlled by somebody else uh-huh. and driven into the post uh-huh. of the bridge. I don't know. You believe in that? Uh, I, me personally, I do not believe that one. Me, yeah, me personally, I wasn't... I mean, that was kind of like... Talk to me a little bit more about it. You can get me to believe you. So, this is... Okay... So, I see two sides. Okay. I'm not 100% on either side. Okay. Right in the middle. There's a side saying that this was deliberate because the shit with Diddy was just happening and they're trying to distract people. So, what do they not want us to see? 
Diddy. Some, some about Diddy. They're trying to hide something, right? So, the ship loses power twice. Right. And it crashes into the thing. But why is the guy turning it towards the fucking thing when he could have just went straight, you know? Because, like, here's the bridge, right? I hope they can see. Here's the bridge, right? And here, here's the post, okay? And he's going like this. He's coming this way. And it loses power. And I don't know if he can control the ship with power off or not. Like, I don't know. Yeah, Probably see, we're not. not. We're not freaking. Probably not. What do, what do they call that? Captains? Captains. We, we're not cat. Okay. I mean, we don't know so anything about driving the ship. Took a hard this way, and then it turned back on, and then it turned that way again, like he was trying to miss it. And it crashed. So I don't know. They could try to make it look like an accident, I guess. But as soon as it hit, you see these little explosions. This guy's like recording it on the the news was showing it, and he zoomed in on the each like uh, you know there's like the the point of the triangle, like each okay. Yeah, yeah, little yes. explosions, and he was thinking because he was like, just kind of just tapped it. Didn't even destroy the the pillar. Just fucking tapped it, and the whole thing collapsed. You know what? And I'm kind of thinking they're, they're calling it Baltimore's 9/11. Did you ever see uh, Evan Almighty? Uh. Uh-uh. So that's the movie with um, the guy from The Office. Okay. What's his name? I'm sorry, I I'm blanking on his name. Uh, yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. But um, anyways, he he becomes. Noah and he has to make the ark oh shit and he has to gather all the animals uh uh-huh. for the flood that's coming and eventually the flood does come and he's doing that whole thing he's over here white water rafting right doing this whole thing and it gets to the point where he goes and drives into the the white house or congress Whatever. house or something uh-huh. like that but I would imagine that's some pretty hefty concrete right there yeah right and it didn't really seem like it, it broke that much. Although that is a movie, of course. Uh-huh. This is fictional, a movie. <laughs> but I would think that's pretty similar to real life. So, maybe, maybe not. I, I'm going to go with maybe not. And I would even imagine a bridge that's holding people going over water. You told me something, and I was like, I totally agree. You said... They over engineer everything. It's like, oh, here's a fail safe, then they times it by 10. I know the boat was carrying cargo from India. The whole ship was full of containers. So it's fucking heavy. I get that. But I don't feel like that should take out the whole bridge. How fast is this boat going? I don't know. I don't know. But the, side, the side I'm more leaning towards is this. You know how I, I have a few friends up, up in the bay? Uh-huh. Okay, you know, ships drive under the San Francisco Bridge. Yes. That's coming next, I guess. Bam. Hope, let's ships hope not. get an option to get a tugboat so shit like that doesn't happen. And uh, this is according to some one of my friends on Twitter, his why, friends. Why is it an option, though? That I don't know. Why is it an option it instead of a just requirement? requirement? I agree. Totally agree. That's the thing. The thing is, there's probably hundreds of ships that go through it through there a day. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, you're losing billions of dollars right by now. the boat. Yep. I'm sorry, by the the bridge, bridge being yep. destroyed. Because no boats can go through. Instead of spending the maybe millions yeah. that you'll need uh-huh. for so, the tugboats. It's an option. And the ship is from India, so it's not from here. So it just did it on its own. Mm-hmm. This is this is the side that I'm more leaning towards. That he didn't take the tugboat option, which he didn't, and the ship lost power. And you see the ship trying to turn on because you see black smoke coming out the top, well, and it turns back on and shuts off again right when he hits. So right I, he hits. I heard. Obviously, I'm not a boat professional. <laughs> I'm not a captain. I don't know this, but I just read that that was a, a signal, a signal of kind of like. I'm doing an emergency maneuver. This is my signaling. And so I'm guessing that's how the police was alerted and was able to tell people to stop crossing the bridge. Well, six people fucking died. Uh, and I also read that was a, a pothole repair crew working at the time. Wow. That didn't get told to get out, get Wait, out so of the bridge. Pe- so people had already been told? Yeah. Oh, okay. People I didn't know had that. been told. See, then, and I would imagine that's because of the of the that uh, gray smoke that gray smoke, that signaling. I'm still more leaning towards the side of no tugboat, lost power. Uh, I could totally see it. Uh, also, so, to be fair, so you're thinking they should have gotten pulled over by 
police. Yes, sir. Gotten a ticket. And they should have slid off on some ice into a ditch, yes. Into Instead a ditch. Instead of to a bridge. But yeah, the Diddy shit's crazy. You took a deep dive on the Quiet On Set. All that stuff. All that stuff. It's it's very, very interesting. But it's also very... Sad. T- well, of course, sad. But terrifying as well, dude. Yes, sir. Because... Think about it. If the hip hop industry is tainted with that stuff, and so is the entertainment industry with television, what other industries are? Every industry. You know what I'm saying? You really don't think political industry is there? Oh, every industry. You still never looked at Pizza Gay. I've asked you like six times. I did. I did. Any thoughts? Thoughts? That's that's the political side. That is the political side. And it's very weird. It is very weird. Question for you. Okay. There was a man. And they found... This is where they got Pizzagate from, from his computer, I'm sure you saw. That he had all these emails talking about pizza. Did mm-hmm. you see that guy? Yes, yes, yes. So, he deleted his emails and went to jail. So how come when Hillary Clinton deleted her emails, she didn't go to jail? Millions of emails. Why, so, why did so she... he went to jail for deleting his emails? Well, they, also, they, of they, found, they found shit on there. He didn't delete them all. Oh, wow. Well, gotta scrub the cookies, brother. But Hillary... Especially... But the, okay, two things. They asked for her emails. Mm-hmm. They asked for them. Subpoena, court order. And she still deleted them. And nothing happened. To be fair, I don't know much about that. I'm just asking your opinion. But if they're doing that to this fucking guy... And she's doing the same exact thing. Come because on. Clinton is at the fucking top. She's at the fucking top of the fucking hierarchy. And I'm sure she's barely at the fucking... She's at the, she's at the tip of the iceberg. And I'm talking about going down under. So she's at the tip of the iceberg, and then she keeps getting fucking worse. Okay? All these celebs, they're still in the sky. They're the fucking rain clouds. The celebs are the rain clouds, and the Clintons are at the tip of the iceberg. Who the fuck's below, the, below water? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm not understanding you. You know the iceberg of scary movies? Yes. And it gets worse the lower you go? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm saying, here's the celebrities up here. They're the rain clouds that's going to fucking they're rain. They're the easy one. They're, they're like... They're, they're still in the elitist, but they have no idea what they're coming. They're the and base tier. Hillary's the tip of the iceberg, but it just gets worse from there. So she still has a shit ton of power, right? But it just keeps getting worse. And the people we've never even heard of before, so much oh. money and so much power... That's what's scary. And those are people that are in industries that we don't even know exist. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's like a list of people. And they're all somehow related to the Clintons, like friends or family or whatever. Just kill themselves. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of people just kill themselves. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them, it's like they're going to testify against them. They just randomly kill themselves. It's fucking insane. Epstein killed himself. Clintons are very uh, documented into that. But at this point, it seems like these are the people that are running the show. You know what I mean? They're they're calling the shots. Yes, sir. Unfortunately. But, um, you know, as we said, every giant has to fall. You know what I mean? Every giant has to fall. It's never going to happen. Every, not in our every, every giant, not, maybe not in our lifetime, but eventually it will. And I'm bank, I'm, I'm banking on it, and I'm rooting for it, absolutely, one hundred percent. Remember this you some, asked me this is some evil shit. If aliens came. I think you said if God, I don't remember what you said, but you said if I can ask him one thing, and get the answer for it. Like I told you, I'd want to know all about this, like PizzaGate shit, like the mm-hmm. hierarchy, like who's in charge and what the fuck are they doing. Like, I just want to know all that shit. Okay, the, the, the truth. You yeah, want to know I want the, the truth. truth. So let me ask you this. If you found out the truth and it's the truth that you imagine, right, what would you do about it? You couldn't do anything. So why would you want to know? Well, in, in my head, in my scenario, everyone's dying already. And okay. it's like you, you, get, you get to ask me one more thing before you go, brother. I'll give you the honest truth. And I would ask him that just to know. Just kind of like... And then I'm like, can I get a can I get a one A question? Is nine eleven real? <laughs> <laughs> just, get, just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I no, feel that. Not shits and giggles. I just want to know. Yeah. And 
Yeah, I'd want to know the hierarchy, like, it's like all these conspiracy theories, like what's true, what's not. It'd be a very broad question, but I want the answers. But a definite yes or no would... <laughs> I imagine I'm like, hey, so like all like the conspiracy theories and stuff, you know, are those true? Can you give me an insight of that? Yes, sir. And then that's it. I just, <laughs> there's your answer, buddy. Yes, sir. Honestly, but, that's good enough for me. But a definite yes or no would close the wound for you. Yeah. Really? Hey, sir, was 9-11 planned? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I, wow. can, I can rest well now. I can now. rest well. Really? You think so? Yes, sir. Huh. Wow. I don't know. I feel like if I knew the truth, I don't know, maybe I would um, 360 quick scope every single one of them. <laughs> Off the Rust Tower. 360 quick scope, every single one of them. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, dude. I would love to. Illuminati's fucking scary. We talked about the fucking guy who drinks water on the trip. We talked about 9-11 on the trip. The guy that drinks water? I think we all do that. Who drinks water here? It's the guy who says he's making his water for the day, and it's like 19 different meals. Oh, dude, yes. He, he, he keeps popping up on my fucking thing. I, I've gotten like at least 35 new 9-11 angles in the past week. So all the stuff that we, we talked talk about, about on the trip is just getting regurgitated onto your timeline. It's line. just like... Oh, oh, oh. It's getting shoved down your yeah. throat. I mean, I really enjoy the 9-11 clips. Are you it's, still enjoying it? Yeah, because I get a new angle every day. At least one. Is that, that's, that's a cool one. It's like, oh, guy in the freeway six miles away. Angle. What's weird is it's like people are recording just like, what are they fucking recording, you know? Because the, sometimes the tower's not even hit yet. They're just recording. And it goes, oh, my God. And then the plane gets hit. But what are you thinking? Uh, you think these are just old phones that people have stored in their house and stuff? And they just decide to bust them out and oh, yeah. restore them or, or whatever? People have clips of 9-11, you know? And that's what's happening. They're like, hey, I'm just going to fucking upload it. But the thing is, how would they know to be recording at that moment? You know? or That's what I'm saying. Are that many people really recording in New York? Like, at, at the same time? On a, yeah. The same thing? Yeah. You think so? Oh, yeah. Not, oh, yeah. How new was it? How new of a building was it at the time? That I don't know, but I know that it was such a good feat. Excuse my ignorance. Oh, did we ever look up the St. Louis fucking arc? No, I don't think we did. Fuck, dude. Anybody tap in? What the fuck is that arc for? What is it? Yeah, what is it? We gotta look that shit up. TikTok it's sick, that bitch. but what is it? You know? That thing was fucking dope. But yes, how new was the World Trade Center? Couldn't tell you. At the time. Couldn't tell you. So maybe that was a feat that people were recording and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe that's what like it was. I just recently had one where there was an apartment building right across the street from the from the Twin Towers. And wow. He had, a, he had an upward shot of the tower breaking. Wow, you got yeah. a blowjob POV. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, uh, Trip was great, had fun, LDB was great, uh, P. Diddy's a fucking scumbag. Piece of shit. Did you see his house when they raided that shit? It's all drugs and shit. So I saw... Or read, I'm sorry. I do. I read that his job was to invite a bunch of celebrities and stuff like that and just get dirt on every single one of them. So, not only celebrities, politicians as well, and all the but people everywhere uh -huh. just to get dirt on anybody. Yeah. Right? So, when they raided his house, they found a bunch of hidden cameras in every single room of his house. Holy So, fuck. he can record every single thing that he wanted. Wanted and happened at all of his crazy parties because you know P Diddy, he's a crazy rich dude. I still in think the he felt Tupac. Industry. He's gonna throw some crazy parties, and that's an easy way to get some crazy shit on somebody. Ah oh, fuck, I don't know. Hopefully they just bring him down. I hope he gets got because they just got his drug mule. I hope he gets got too, man. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. They just caught his drug mule, <clears throat> and. Diddy was seen with him like three days before they, uh, the FBI arrested him. His drug meal. Yeah. And then Diddy got raided. So then what about all these other artists that are related, directly related to him? Oh, they're probably fucking scrambling right you now. Know? They're, they're scrambling right I'm now. I'm also seeing, you know, some other high profile names here and there. Like Jay-Z. I've been seeing that Jay Z's at the top of the gay. Very the high gay, profile names. Yeah, I've been seeing Jay Z's the top of the gay list right now for rapper gay not, rappers. No, not just him. Who? His partner. Yonsei. Yo. Oh yeah, she's at the top of the Illuminati list. You ever seen single ladies play backwards? No. Really? 
No, I haven't. That was like the first conspiracy theory that I ever saw. Really? If if you play a single ladies backwards, and I guess doing this is like a symbol for the devil. Okay, the guy explains in his video, right? But she, you're playing it backwards. She, it's literally her worshiping the devil in the song. Like, you know, like when you, uh, there's that one XXX song called Save Me. And you play it in reverse and it literally says Drake's going to kill me in reverse. Uh, I didn't see that either. What? This is all news to me. Yeah, so wow, artists make music, but they word it to where if you play it backwards, it's a... It's, a, it's subliminal can, messaging. Subliminal. So, it's subliminal messaging. So one of X's songs, I think it's Save Me in reverse, says, help me, Drake's going to kill me. Really? I'm going to yeah. have to see this. Yes, sir. TikTok, baby. Wow. TikTok shop. This is all news to me. This is amazing. Yeah, so the Beyonce one is like the oldest one. I've ever seen that when I was like 10. It scared me. So I've never been a fan. At heart. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I I remember how like the whole subliminal, subliminal messaging was used early in the days when like metal music was yeah. starting to come out. Black Sabbath and all those guys. Because, I mean, not only were they showing that they were... I mean, pretty heavy and all yeah. that stuff, but people thought that they had a secret message in there. They probably did. Yeah, they uh, maybe they did whatever, but like that's tool, what, that's when where they, it started. Like Tool, and they sung in Ping Latin. Oh yeah, yeah. It was just an Essie Quick baby. <laughs> no, and and then they also did one where they um they had the cookie recipe. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Didn't they do in Pig Latin though? No, I think that was German or something like uh, that. Okay. But yeah, this is crazy. I'm ready to go though. You ready? I think it is Pig Latin. I think you're right. Are you ready? I'm absolutely ready. I'm pretty hungry. All right, brothers. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BigDevil2Gs underscore in between on the Twitter. Follow us at Daddy's Engine Pod on TikTok and Instagram. And uh, yeah, dude, if you guys have any fucking hardcore stories, mosh pit stories, we want to fucking hear them. Let us fucking know. We want to know all the fucking stories, the injuries you've had when your butthole hurts. Or I don't know. I don't care. Holder. Let us know all the conspiracy theories you're hearing right now. Tune in. We want your scoop. We want your side. We want to hear this shit. Yes. We want to hear what you think. We or, do you even believe in conspiracy theories? We, we want perspectives here, all right? We want different POVs, all right? Yeah. Yes, that's what we want. Yes, sir. But anyways, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Sick Puppy with two E's. Um, this has been Daddy's Dungeon Pod. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Peace.